So now let's see how we can work around with the print settings inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So let's say you want to print out a PDF document. What you can do is you can go to file and then you can go to print right here. So once you go to print, you can see that a dialog box opens up where you can change out different settings. For example, over here, you can see that there's printer. You can choose the printer that you want to print with. In my case, there is no physical printer attached, so I'm just going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF, which allows me to print out the file as a PDF right there. So over here, you can increase the number of copies right here, which you can, uh, you, which you want to print. So let's say for my case, I'm going to print out three pages, and you can also click on Print in Grayscale, so it prints in black and white. I can click on Save Ink Toner, so this actually reduces the amount of ink that is used, uh, so the printer does not uh, dry up too fast. But I'm not using a physical printer, so I'm just going to turn this off. So over here, there are more options, like you can choose the current view, so only that view is visible right here, or you can choose all so that everything is uh, everything is fitted out right here. You can also go around and navigate around to different pages if you have multiple pages. But over here, in my case, there's this one page, so you don't see much. So you can go around on to different settings, like you can go to poster settings, multiple settings if you want to print multiple pages, and even go for booklet if you want to print multiple pages right there. And in multiple or booklet right here, you can see that you can go around and choose both side or front side only right here, or back side only and so forth. So you can go to multiple as well and go around and choose, let's say, nine pages uh, per page that is printed. And you can choose vertical right here to change the alignment right here. You can choose horizontal, you can choose vertical and so forth, just like that. So you can just go around and choose the setting you want. You can also go around and uh, choose print page border so that the border is shown up in the page. You can see it in the preview right here. And you can choose portrait or landscape mode for print and you can auto rotate that thing out as well. So there's document and markup that you can print out as well. So you can go to document right here. You can print out markup if there's markup. Let's say, for example, uh, let me press just press cancel right here. And I'm going to go around into uh, comment right here. So if I were to go to comment and then if I were to, let's say, for example, highlight this out and maybe if I were to type in something. So I'm just going to go to text tool um, and maybe they are, their text tool right here and type in something. Then I have a choice whether I want to print them or not. So the markups that you add in by using the comment is saved as a separate layer. So it's saved as a separate entity. So you can go to print right here and then you can see that in tiny areas, these are being printed out right here to that because that is uh, there's document and markup. But if I were to select this document, then you do not see that out right there. So if I were to press document and markup, you can see the highlight right there. A document only, you don't see the highlight right over here, just like that. You can also go for document and stamps. So uh, if you have stamps, then you can go around with that. You can also go around and then see like summarizing of the comments. But this is something that we're going to see in uh, further videos. Then you can go to page setup right here to choose the page that you want to print up your documents in. And then you can go around into uh, upper paper tray and so forth and then change into landscape and so forth. So you can print it out in the way you want. And once you're ready to print out your document, you can simply hit the print button right here and then the document will be printed out uh, um, in the way you want. So I'm just going to go around and save the printed file and desktop. And since I'm using a virtual printer, it's actually asking me to save, the, uh, save it as a PDF format. And once I do that, uh, it is saved out in desktop, as you can see. And this is the printed file right here. So you can see that there's the markup right here, but there is no markup because we didn't choose to add in markup onto the printed file. And that is how you can use the printer settings to print the document in the way you want. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.